Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to share with you something I've never shared with you before. In this video, I'm going to be decorating my front porch for Halloween for the very first time. And I want to thank LinkedIn for sponsoring today's video because without them, this video was not possible. You're going to see how I use their pathway lights to light up this space for Halloween. And this is what my porch looks like currently. I did remove some of the fall decor to make space for the Halloween decor. The corner in the left over there, I'm going to be doing a DIY that I'm going to share with you shortly. Now, before I start decorating, I want to share with you the stuff that I have that I'm going to be using. I don't think I'm going to be using everything, but uh, let's see what we have to work with. Now, this um, pillow cover is something I had a while now. For some years, I've never used it. So uh, I'm going to definitely be using this today. And I got this uh, paper um skeleton this one i've never used either because i think for outdoors it's not so good within when it rains and stuff like that it might not last long but i do have a bunch of these plastic uh skeletons and these are like glow in the dark i don't i've never seen them glow in the dark to be honest and i use these on my um on my window i've used them for the past two years on my kitchen window so i'm gonna be using those they can hang outside with no problem then i got new this year um well i'm not sure Th this thing i actually bought for my sister because it is 150 centimeters tall it is only 10 centimeters um, shorter than me so it is pretty big and my sister she likes to decorate for Halloween so I actually bought this one for her so I don't think I'm gonna be using that but this balloon I thought um, was really cute because I am not into the scary spooky Halloween you guys I love it when it's cute but don't do anything scary now this one isn't all that big but I thought uh, this was big enough to go on my front door but I also have this banner that I was thinking on putting on my front door look at how cute so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna be using this one or this one but i'm definitely going to be using both i don't know uh, where now actually i thought these were bats when i picked this package up but it turned out to be black ravens but okay it will have to do and i got a bunch of spiders i've got these foam spiders and I also got like these silicone jelly spiders. So I got two packs of those, two packs of these, and I got also two packs of the spider web, uh, including these plastic spiders. So uh, yeah, two pack of those. And <laughs> I don't even know why I picked this up. These are uh, balloons and these are good for when you have an indoor party, but I'm pretty sure that these will burst when I put them outside. So I think I'm going to be saving these for my sister as well. And I saw this <laughs> cute uh, cup. Uh, well, cute. What's so cute about a skeleton? But he looks funny. So I picked it up. It was only one euro. And I didn't know what to do with it actually. But I might uh, drill a hole in it and then use a battery operated candle and put it outside uh, so with the hole then the rain it can drain out so i don't know what i'm going to be using for it. i'm not i'm not sure what i'm going to be using it for but um yeah i'm just gonna see but these are the items that i'm going to be using and i also have a diy that i'm going to be sharing with you shortly yeah. so let's get to it after some debating i decided to go with the banner here instead of my front door now i used a piece of rope that i stretched from one of the hooks in the wall to this rain pipe i didn't want to drill extra holes in this wall so i thought that was the easiest uh, quick fix for to hang up this banner and i'm just using some staples to hang it up because this is not going to be hanging here for long until halloween and then i'm gonna take it down so as long as it is hanging and that it can stand the rain and you guys i really love this banner now 
I know, I know, I should have ironed it, but if you know me by now, you know that I totally dislike ironing. And actually, I'm hoping that it will rain and that the wrinkles will come out. But anyway, it doesn't really matter because it isn't really too annoying for me. Now, before we move on, I want to give a big thanks to LinkedIn for sponsoring today's video. So let me share with you what they sent me. I got my package here and I'm so excited. We're going to be unboxing it together and I cannot wait to see how they look. And when I'm making this video, I am still awaiting another package to arrive. So I do hope that it will get here in time to share with you in this video. But in the meantime, let's unbox this one. I am very grateful for LinkedIn for sending me their rgb lights to test out because i am so impressed by the quality of their products and i can totally recommend these especially when you want to create that spooky halloween vibe so i got two of these boxes here of the smart solar spotlight and there are four pieces uh, in one box so i have a total of eight here this is the package up close and look at how pretty the colors are that you can choose from and as you can see it works with an app as well and i'm really excited to see how this works so we're going to open it up and see what the features are now as i mentioned it is app control so you can use it controlling an uh, you can control it using an app and i'm going backwards here but that's okay um, it has uh, this timer it works from dusk till dawn so when it gets darker it automatically goes on and when it gets light in the morning it goes off and you know rgb you can select tons of colors and this one has 16 million colors to choose from and this is the cool feature that i am excited about I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to get this to work because I'm not a tech person whatsoever, but you can synchronize it with music. And I see that it is motion activated. So I think the music might be uh, motion activated because um, it goes on from dusk till dawn. So I'm not sure uh, how that works, but let's open it up and see what we're working with now while i'm unboxing this i want to mention that uh, if you've seen my summer video um, i shared with you their um, their white lights those were not rgb and what they recommend is that these charge uh, for two full whole days in the sun and i have to say um, that they do extremely well because you can use them even not when they're fully charged in the sun but to get the best results and for them to stay on much longer uh, then you definitely should do the recommendation and have them uh, in the sun for two whole days if you do it less then they will not stay on all night so now this is what they look like they kind of look like a robot eyes <laughs> to me so cute now look at this solar panel how large this is so this collects a lot of light and i think it does store a lot of the power here now here you can also see um, the led colored um or the <laughs> colored leds inside so uh yeah i really love the aesthetic of these they are quite large but then again you do get something worthwhile this is the on and off button the same as the ones that i have in my backyard and it comes with a spike to put in the ground so that is easy to install them around your yard now, um, I did mention um, there are four here in here. So um, I have like these two and here I have another two. And of course it comes with a manual and it also comes with these screws if you want to um, uh, install these, uh, for instance, on your paver or on a wall, that's possible too so i'm gonna be reading the manual to see if i can get the music to synchronize um or to get the lights to synchronize with the music because i think that would be definitely a cool feature so um well but then again i do not have outdoor speakers so 
I don't know if it's gonna work, but anyway, I'm gonna try that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, it is a very sunny day out uh, today, so I'm gonna be putting them in the sun and letting them charge as much as possible and then come back and start decorating my front porch. Now, I do wanna show you that uh, they come pre-charged, as you can see and um, the color is really bright with the button here you can adjust the light as you can see changing colors but of course it would be easier to do that with the app because this is just a single control and with the app you can probably control them all at once so yeah that was the warm light and this is the cool light now i think this is awesome you guys so yeah let me go charge them and then we'll come back and this is the DIY that I want to share with you, this ghost DIY that is going viral on social media. Now, I want to show you that it doesn't have to cost you anything or at least not that much to create this yourself without having to actually go out and buy anything for this. I had a plant stand. I was really searching my stash for anything usable and I found this plant stand that I had and I remembered I had three of these red balls that I previous bought to do a Christmas DIY with and I didn't come around to doing it. So I'm using those and I used a pantyhose to wrap around the ball so that the red won't show through the sheet and the pantyhose made it also very easy to attach the ball to the plant stand and i also of course had to add light to it so i'm wrapping some christmas light around the plant stand and then i'm adding the ball and tie it to the plant stand and then i'm just going to throw the sheet over it now the sheet i did go out and buy because i didn't have any old sheets lying around if you have then that would be even better but i didn't also have time to check my thrift store because that would have been the second best method to go with but i had to buy this new in store now what i did is i did buy a bigger sheet so i can get two ghosts out of it i cut the sheet in half so i can create two of these ghosts and i also had some black felt lying around that i used to cut out the eyes now this goes to show you guys you do not have to go out and buy anything to create this diy now of course i had to go out and buy the sheet but i'm telling you up front if you do have some time to create this diy check if you have some old sheets lying around or check your local thrift store thinking that those tiny string lights for the fall decor that i had were stubborn now <laughs> this uh, cobweb was even more stubborn i do not know how people do this i do have no idea if this is the way to go with it but i was really struggling with this and it was sticking everywhere so i decided to go off camera and try to get this done and it took me some time to get it a little bit the way i wanted but it's still not really what i had in mind i thought it might really look more like cobweb because i've passed some houses that <laughs> really did a better job than i did but anyway it was my first time using it and it did turn out okay but yeah i was expecting a little bit more now drop me a comment below let me know either if you decorate for halloween and if you do do you use these spider webs and how do they work for you 
and here's a shot of how they turned out and i used it a little bit everywhere except for my mom's you're gonna see that i didn't want to mess up their vibes because they were looking so so pretty so this is the look and i think i did okay but yeah like i said it was a struggle and i went around adding a bunch of the spiders everywhere I am really terrible with names because I have no idea if these are supposed to be black crows or ravens or anything and then again I thought I was buying bats but anyway I'm gonna be hanging up a bunch of them here that you're gonna see later on because they gave that perfect spooky vibe now i used to decorate for halloween inside but for the past i think three four or three years i don't do that anymore and i did get rid of all my indoor halloween decor but one of the things that i did keep doing is carve my own pumpkin for halloween and the last year or the past year i think i carved three or two and before that it was just only one and that is really one of the things that i love doing carving pumpkins so i got two of these big ones uh, that i had outside i brought them in and i cleaned them up and carved them and the way i like to clean my pumpkins is after i'm done carving them i like to put them in a little bit of water with some bleach and let them sit and after that dry them off and then where i cut the eyes the nose and the mouth and of course the top head i would rub in some vaseline to make it not go bad too quickly are charged i'm gonna be setting up the app and that's so easy you guys um, you get this user manual i am going to be using the qr code that's um, inside the manual and this is to uh, download and to install the iDot app so we're gonna be doing that I love that these are easy plug and play installation, no wiring required and you can group control them without using a hub. So once it's installed, um, it wants to connect to your network and of course you have to um, create an account with them. I am not going to allow them to send me any messages or notifications because if every app wants to send me a notification, I would go insane, literally. So I'm not doing that. So I'm going to um, log in with my account. So once I'm in, um, it does ask for Bluetooth and that's, what th that's one thing I noticed that it needs to have Bluetooth on and your phone needs to be in a close vicinity of the lights 
in order to operate them by app. So that is something that you have to be aware of. Now you can see I already went ahead and connected the lights. I'm not going to show you that because that is really simple. Uh, what I really love about this app is that it already comes with this uh, preset of all lights. That means that all lights are all connected under this button and you don't see that in different apps. Now, since this is a Halloween video, I want to show you the cool Halloween features. First, if you want to use the Halloween features, you have to group control these because if you use this control or if you use this group, it doesn't allow you to use the Halloween presets. So you have to manually group the lights first. Now that's really easy to do. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. Uh, first, you're going to scroll up and use this plus sign and uh, you select add outdoor group. And then you see that all the lights that you have connected are visible in this list. Now I'm going to be connecting all of them. I don't know if I'm going to be using all of them, but I'm going to be connecting all of them. Now this one is offline because it's somewhere else uh, charging right now. But uh, yes, you're going to uh, group select uh, everything and you just give it a name. I'm just keeping group because I have just one group. You save it. And then you have a group here. So with one push of the button, you can control all the lights in this group. Now, once you turn it on and you go to the group, you guys, uh, you see this button here, the light show, and it has this cute Halloween head. So because there is a Halloween setting here, but this is kind of basic. But if you go to the light show here, you scroll down and here you see there are different effects that you can use that are especially created for Halloween. Now, uh, this is how you can control them in the group. But if you go to the lights separately, you have even more Halloween um, sets, uh, presets to, se to select from. Like here you have this eerie, spooky, mysterious, creepy and playful. So you can go there and select the devices that you want uh, to use that preset. Now, you guys, this is so much fun. It's going to take me a few days to figure out everything, but there is so much that you can do with this app and the possibilities are really endless. Now, I'm going to show you how I install these and then I'm going to show you how I used some of these Halloween presets. As you might very well know, decorating doesn't go all at once. I've been playing around with these lights, putting them in different places and having them in different positions. And actually, to be honest, only at night, I was able to see where I really wanted them because during the daylight, they just don't give off all that, uh, all that much light. And after a bunch of playing around and rearranging, this is the end result. Now, I am so obsessed with how this turned out. I really love the vibe of this lighting. Now, I want to thank LinkedIn again for sponsoring today's video. I am going to leave a link in my description box below in case you are interested in this lighting because I can highly recommend them. And I'm not going to be talking too much. I want to give you a small tour of how this porch turned out just make sure you watch till the end because i'm gonna share with you three settings to give you an idea of how easy it is to create the perfect halloween vibe for now i want to thank you all so much for watching and i see you in my next one bye